Okay, good morning everyone. Today we are here from computer science department to share our experience about a hackathon which was connected a few weeks ago. The name is Intercontinental Inno Quest and as the name suggests it is Intercontinental Inno Quest. Intercontinental since we had a college from India involved and a college from US. College from US is Letourneau University and college from India is where I am studying and what am I doing here at Letourneau? I'm here as a semester exchange student pursuing my 6th semester here. and uh, the entire event was conducted in collaboration between these two things before i get into the dynamics of it i would like to start by introducing my fellow mates here so taylor yeah hey guys i'm taylor bell i'm a senior here so i'll be graduating this semester and my major is computer science and game development i'm also involved with acm as the secretary this semester so that's how i ended up being involved in the event so hey guys my name is chaco happy i'm a senior in computer science uh, me and my team were ranked second place and we won the best presentation award Hey, I'm Randall Reinhart. I'm a computer science and math major. I'm a sophomore right now. Um, me and my team got first place in the competition, and we won the best societal impact award. All right. So, Anuj, why don't you tell us what is a hackathon? Okay. So, a hackathon is nothing but a place wherein a group of peers of like-minded peers—it could be computer science, it could be engineering, it could be business—they come together and try and build innovative solutions. Usually, they are given some problem statements to tackle upon. But in a just, I believe it is an inference of so many people coming together and sharing their ideas. Like the way I pitched it to you and to every single organizer out there. So what it's gonna do is, we are gonna go meet people and exchange ideas, question each other. If I don't know some technology, you would know it, so we could share our insights. And at the end of the entire event, what's gonna happen is every single person will come out a little bit more knowledge. a little bit more insightful in what the current world scenario is so yeah taylor you could tell me how this was for you we've never actually done a hackathon here before it's kind of a new idea for us so a big part of this event was actually how do we market it how do we tell people what this is how can they understand what it is and along with the marketing aspect uh we also had to pitch it as not just a cs thing cuz our cs department's actually kind of small here so it's really important that we show that engineers can do this too. We had a whole team of just engineers which is really good. Yeah, so my team, um like I said earlier, um my major is computer science and math. And the two other guys that I was with, um uh, Matthew and Daniel, are both computer scientists and mathematicians. And so we wanted to do something that would kind of bring those two fields together. Um we spent about 2 hours straight just brainstorming, so that took away a lot of our time, but we eventually decided on um a math practice engine is what we're calling it. So we noticed that there was there's a lot of really good software for math practice for like elementary school, middle school, like you know your times tables, your division, things like that. Um, and there's lots of good software for college students as well, like WebAssign for calculus and things like that. But all of the software for college students is really expensive, and also it has to be specifically tailored by a class. So you can't just go onto WebAssign and start practicing calculus. um and so we wanted to kind of bridge those two worlds and create a math software that provided college level math questions unconnected from an actual class and for free and so um the product we made was called mathit um our prototype was um on a website and it just had a couple different pages that you could go to um and get randomly generated calculus problems mental math problems and then if you get it wrong it'll tell you what you should have done and it'll kind of keep an updated dynamic score of how well you've done so far cs graduates which they get out of the colleges they come to work they have this one thing lacking wherein you know in real world what's going to happen is a company is built with communications amongst different parts of the company like you have different departments you have to coordinate with but in college the way we are taught we are taught programming skills we know to programming really well we know to build websites we know to do everything but what about communicating it or what about communicating with the client what about communicating up your superiors or up to your peers there and that's what i really liked about this was the kind of sense they're trying to put in us the kind of the motto of it you know building disciples building good disciples for tomorrow so i really love that concept wherein it's more important for you to be socially good like trying to help others like dr abbas says like being kind is one thing you'll never regret at the end of the day yeah so that was our theme for the entire project was or the the event was computing for social good you know what are the projects that can help people we came up with a real world problems as our problem statements so i worked on a i worked on a um a website that that allows a, a professor to upload like study materials and then 
the website will then take the study materials and cater it to a student based on how they how they learn. Um, so me and my teammates, Naud and Sung, uh, we were looking into into the different ways that students learn. So some students like to learn by um, by reading, hearing, um, writing. There's a bunch of different other methods. Um, so our website basically caters the study materials to the student based on how they learn. Um, what was what was really interesting was Sung he used Canva for everything. I didn't even know Canva was that. You you could use it that much. Like our logo was designed with Canva. All our PowerPoints were designed with Canva. Um, he was practi- he was practically working like for the whole twenty four hours just on the marketing side. And so because of that, we won that we won our presentation award. And throughout my experience, I have learned more from hackathons than I could have learned from three to four iterations of these computer science degrees. Right. Because what they teach you is this is a time, this is a problem statement. Let's see, can you get it off? You don't know something, you have to know whom to ask. If I don't know PHP, you know PHP. I could I have to I have to know the skill to come to you and say, say this is what I don't know. Could you explain me? If you do not know these kind of basic skills, which are not actually developed in a classroom environment, we do not really interact with each other. We do not really know our strengths and weaknesses. So once we do this kind of iterations out here, we are ready for tomorrow. Even more than just that, I know you're talking about like you meet other people, you learn new things. But even more than that, you're kind of making friends in this because you're finding people who can do that. And that's another big part of just growing. You're learning how to make friends and how to learn from friends, how to work together, which is really big in industry too, having to work with other people. Yeah, so that's how I think I would like to end this note. And here we are, computer science department students thank, out here. Thank everyone for tuning in, listening. Yeah. Hope to see you guys next year at ICIQ. Yeah, we will have ICIQ and Randall would be leading it. Yeah, yeah. you got this, Randall. <laughs> I'll be back there home and then I will try and coordinate this, but we will have it done. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs>